morning everyone happy vlogmas today is day one of vlogmas and if you don't know what that is it's where you upload a vlog video every day for the month of December leading up to Christmas so I decided I'm gonna give this a go uh, this year uh, a little something different for uh, my channel for the month of December and it'll um, I guess take you on my stitching journey with me, but take you on my journey of trying to get ready for Christmas as well this year. So right now I'm in my craft room. Um, I am working night shift tonight, so I only just got up um, a little while ago. I've got my coffee, and I'm just going to sit down to work on a new chart that I started yesterday. And then I'm going to work on my 12 Days of Christmas piece by Plum Street Samplers, uh, the freebie that they uploaded to their website, their blog, last year, I think it was, or maybe it was the year before. Um, yeah, so I'm just awake. Um, <laughs> so I'll turn the camera around so you can see what I'm going to work on this morning while I'm having my coffee. Here we go. This is what I'm going to be working on this morning. It is a little Newfoundland dory. Don't know if that's going to focus. Hang on now, let me see little Newfoundland dory with a little Christmas tree with beads, a Republic of Newfoundland flag, and a little lantern. This is a design by four boys. I can't even speak yet this morning. Four boys and a NL girl designs on Etsy. Um, she is a local a stitcher, rug hooker, knitter, um, and she has designed this chart, uh, which was done up into a kit, and I am stitching this. I did start it yesterday, and here we go. That's as much as I've got done right now. I've got the dory uh, put together, started the lantern, and I have the flag done. Don't have any of the back stitching done. So I'm going to work on that a little bit this morning. Um, probably do the water that's underneath the dory and then I'm going to work on my 12 days of Christmas piece later this afternoon. Hi guys, so for those of you who don't have Instagram or have not been following me on Instagram, this is one of my FOs for the month of November. One of my co-workers had a baby and I stitched, I crocheted this baby blanket. This is the Rainbow Ripple blanket which you can find the pattern it's a free download from Ravelry um, I love this pattern I've used it for several baby blankets now and I like it because you can change your own colors if you know uh, if the baby's going to be a boy or a girl you can you could do all uh, pink and cream or pink and yellows if you choose you could do all kinds of colors you could do every row a different color um, I chose to do this one um, this is actually yellow and mint green, believe it or not. It looks a little blue, I think, on the video, but it's yellow and pastel green. And then the center, because they didn't know if they were having a boy or girl, I did this combination uh, yarn, which is blue, purples, and pinks, and green, and yellow. So there's a little bit of all kinds of different colors in here. As it turned out, they actually just had a baby boy yesterday. So the blanket is ready just in time to welcome baby home from the hospital. Hey guys, so because I'm not really doing, I guess, an end of November update, I thought I would just give you a very quick overview today of where my pieces are that I've been working on and we'll just do a very quick update on this Vlogmas video. So this is Folk Witch by Gecko Rouge that I've been working on for Jay, the lovely mortuary stitches. This is where she is right now. I've, uh, I've worked over as far as I can go to the left. This is the edge of the piece. So I've decided to go all the way to the right now. So this is the page I've been working on. I had been working on in the month of November and that's how far I've gotten. A little close up there of my stitches. So that's where we are right now. That's where I'm going to leave off with this piece until I pick it back up in January when Vlogmas is over. 
because for the month of December I'm going to do all Christmas stitching. And I'll show you what that looks like in a minute too, what I've decided I'm going to do. This is my Record Girls piece. Let me just open this up because I've got, still got it attached to the Q-snap on the bottom here. Get the threads out of the way. This is where Record Girls is now. I'll have to stand up to show it to you. There we go. So that's where we are with Record Girls. Um, you can see this, this girl is kneeling down like she's sitting with her legs bent. So this is her skirt and the top of her tights. Um, I've got a partial record and this is the page I've started working on now. I don't have a whole lot left to do on this one. I just need to finish to the edge, of course, and then there's one more row of pages across the bottom. That's it. So this will be done. My goal was to have it done by the end of this year, but with my Vlogmas plans, um, and I'm just, realistically, I'm not going to get it done. So I decided to leave it, and I'll wait until um, the new year to finish it. But I'm okay with that. So that's Record Girls. Then my secret stitching. This is the Canada Sampler by Stitch Rovia. This is sampler number one. Or number two. I don't know. <laughs> this is one of the ones I'm doing. Um, I've gotten all of this top part done. What I'm missing right now are the... Well, I'll show you on the second one. This is where this one has gotten. The second one, ta-da, is a little bit further along. So the first one needs to get caught up to this one. I had finished this section with the North Pole. I added in the Canada geese that are flying in formation. For those of you who don't know, Canada geese always fly. A flock of geese, they always fly um, in a V shape. A v formation. Uh, I have the mitten done. What else do I have done? Polar bear, moose. Can't really see the moose's face there, but he does have, oh there he is. He does have a face. So that's the moose and the polar bear the mittens, and the geese. So those are all done on this piece. So I'll pull it back so you can see the whole thing. So, that's my little mini update for what I was working on in November. Um, this is my Plum Street Sampler 12 Days of Christmas piece. This is the first one I'm going to be working on for the month of December. This is my little calendar I kind of did up for myself. I'm going to be doing um, the 12 days of Christmas for a week. Then I'm switching to Santa's Magic by Mirabilia. Um, I'm going to switch back to my Hade, A Christmas Carol, for a week. And I might have a new start, Santa's Sleigh, like the Nora Corbett uh, Christmas Couriers. I, I haven't decided on that yet if I'm going to do a new start. This is going to depend on if I get this finished. So my goal this week, I have three blocks to finish this. And I want to get that done. So here's the 12 days of Christmas in the colors that I chose to stitch them in. So I just have the Ten Lords a leaping. I don't even know what the other ones are now. I can't even think this morning. So I have 10, 11, and 12 left to do. And that's it. So there you have it. That is my plans for December. What I will be working on. And what you'll see over the next few days. So this is where I've left off. And I'm going to see how much of this I can get done today. <laughs> 